there's a DJ, DJ on stage. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is it on? Is this bitch recording? Is this bitch recording? Well, the red light is flashing, so that means yes, it is. Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat round the scrub, BGC checked, Facebook periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, uh, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison, honey, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color. In from what? In color. In color. <laughs> from the production van, bitch. Now, y'all already know we here loud, live, and in color in New York City, girl. You know me, Miss Lawrence, honey, with Dot Marie. We got, uh, what's your name, baby? Vinny. Vinny in the back seat back there, honey. You know we here on the set. We're not on the set. Y'all can't see the set yet. <laughs> but we're here in um, New York City, and we're filming um, bros. I know y'all had heard. Y'all done seen me posted all over my Instagram and Snapchat and stuff. You get what I'm saying, you know. Um, you know, we're filming the movie Bros for Universal Pictures. Yes, that's right. Who, Lauren? Who's by? Universal Pictures. Who? Universal. Universal Pictures, honey. So we had done came here and got that good piece of change, girl. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we're going to be up here filming for a few weeks. Um, actually, we go home and then we come back and film more weeks, but you know. But I, I, I know y'all know that I have been very vocal about the Kelly Price situation and stuff like that. Y'all, if you were just listening to me on Twitter, I'm about to bring this same stuff. I thought I was going to put lipstick on, but I didn't. I just put on hair, okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to say the same things that I said over there on Twitter. What you on? I'm on Facebook. Oh, you're on Facebook? Yeah, I'm going to load this up to my, um, I'm going to okay. load this up to my YouTube and stuff like that. But oh, then, you know, I'm going to go live on my Twi Instagram, okay. too, because I need the girls to feel, to understand how I feel. They need to get ready to receive the message. Yes. Now, listen, I love Kelly Price. He proposed to me. Yes. Yes, he did. He proposed with a diamond ring, and I started crying. Mm. I love her. Tears filled your what? Yeah, yeah. Tears filled my eyes, and he kissed me on my hand and I said yes I never forget that night it was what time was it? It was 8.43 p.m. to be precise. To be precise. Exact to be precise. He I, looked I in my saying. eyes and <laughs> said all of that okay I want oh wait let me going through the tunnel what tunnel this is y'all Lincoln this the Lincoln tunnel I don't know if we're gonna have service <laughs> now we going through the Lincoln tunnel right now I don't know if we're gonna keep service Wait a minute. I, I don't want to get too deep in my conversation that we lose service. Y'all need to get all this. Let me. It keeps service. No, it do. Uh huh. Oh, it mm -hmm. just don't keep no light. We don't have a spirit of disconnection over here. Huh? Amen. Hey, we don't have. We don't have a spirit of disconnection over here. Amen. Or a spirit of discord. Uh, and my God said His satellite extends and dwells in all spaces, in all crawl spaces. It extends above and beneath. Amen. So right now, as she delivers this message, I want you to know and fret not. <laughs> and fret not. Yeah, you will receive this message irregardless yes. <laughs> to this tunnel. Irregardless in the name of Jesus. But I'm definitely going to wait for a little bit more light because y'all need to see my lips moving, her. Oh, hold on. I got you, soon. You got her? Huh? Okay. <laughs> now, while we in this tunnel, Kelly... Now, I don't want to even speak to Kelly because I don't want to see Y'all. Now, y'all know we love Kelly Price out here in, this, in these motherfucking streets. Y'all know this already. And I just don't think that it was nosy of us. I don't think that it was fully nosy of us to want to know where she was at. We wanted to know where she was at. She is a woman of color. She's a prominent woman of color. She's poured into our community and beyond. She sang the great gospels and she mm. sung all the songs about friends of mine stealing our husbands and things. She added perspective. That's right. To the verb love. That's correct. She did. And then she want, we wanted to know if this is Mr. Biggs, what the hell is going on? Did Kelly take this phone? <laughs> okay. I get that she wants her privacy, right? But the reason why the I, the TS, was very much so so adamant about trying to locate the the, the, the remains of Kelly Price <laughs> was because I myself was fighting COVID a month ago, over a month ago. 
So, and I fought COVID for, for, for three, to almost four weeks. And girl, I thought that it was my last day amongst the living, okay? I thought it was my last day. I thought it was me and Miss Mary's last day amongst the living. We were very sick. So the moment that the woman posted on July 29th that it was that was that she was battling COVID, my heart went out to her. After I fought the COVID and I got over the COVID and I was online talking about my experience, I had remembered that she was battling COVID July the 29th. And so therefore, I was like, damn. Ain't nobody done heard nothing. Somebody go around there and check on my sister. I don't know her. I don't know her, but somebody go around there and check on my sister. Where is she at? Okay. So, yes, that sparked something. I don't know. The girls took my post. They was going doing all the things. But at the end of the day, that was from a place of love and a place of me coming out of the COVID. Now, you got to understand, there are so many missing black women that are not being reported on. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of these things are happening because some of their husbands and men, boyfriends, trafficking, all types of shit. And so the Twitter investigators, Larry Reed, and all the people who was deep down into the business, Found out that the woman was married to this man. It was he's no longer he was no longer her boyfriend. He's her husband. All of the things we were able to receive and get all of the tea. Okay, because we had to get deep down the investigation. It was not about us being nosy in her business. It was about us trying to find out where where is she at. And then things started to look really funny and crazy when we were finding out that there was marriage certificates next of kin, people emailing, talking about she was on a ventilator. Bitch, we didn't know what was going on, so we were trying to find our sister. What pisses me off is the getting up today, okay? And the very much so, I'm here, I'm well, stop bothering me. That's what I took from it. I'm here... I'm well, leave me the fuck alone. I get it that you're trying to bear, but this was not this was not from a place of being nosy because I don't know who you fucking and sucking. I don't know who she's fucking and sucking or who she's married to. That don't got nothing to do with me. But my concern was, girl, I was battling COVID-19. I survived COVID-19. I haven't heard from you. All of the things that are going on with the black women that are missing in this thing. And girl, then we, we know we go and find out that they have a missing report on you. Girl, we were trying. What is going on? What's the tea? All of the, the things that you were. All of the things that we were doing was, was out of love, right? Lord? It was out of love. It was out of sheer concern. It was, for me, it was. I can't speak about anybody else. But for me. It was most definitely that. And what hurts me a little bit, not hurts me because, you know, it's just very much so it really gave. Now, I don't know if it's if it was meant to come off that way or if it was meant to give, you know, I'm here, I'm well, stop bothering me, leave me alone. I don't know if it was really meant to give that because if it was so much. I just personally felt like, girl... If you were sitting at home watching this stuff, girl, and you had the ability to even speak, you could have sent us a voice note. If we could have saw your big toe, we could have seen your small pinky, your big toe, or you could have been in the back saying, you know, listen, guys, I know y'all are concerned about me and stuff like that. I'm okay. Um, why did it? I don't want We We're black. I don't want to hear from no fucking lawyer about you saying you okay. You got hood hoes that follow you, bitch. We don't, they don't got no, I have a lawyer, but we got hood hoes that don't have lawyers that don't want to hear from your lawyer saying that you're okay. And then your sister, who we don't know, the, we don't know, we wasn't that nosy knowing the ins and out of what's going on with your sister and how your sister, what kind of relationship you got with your sister. We don't know this stuff because we're not in, in your business. We're not in her business like this. We're not in her business, so we don't know this. All we know is that we don't know where you are 
we knew that you had COVID. Girl, we were praying that you were you had cro you didn't cross over. And so it just was this it was just this was just too much for me. It was very a devilish diva-ish type situation. Okay, girl, I'm back, girl. I, I, I almost died, girl. I'm back. Now I'm going back into my quiet place. Goodbye. Niece. Niece. There are so many people out here that were dying from COVID, so this was, the, this was a huge concern. I got through COVID. I was battling COVID. My mother was battling COVID. Girl, we felt that we were going to make the, meet the great beyond. And girl, you had nobody had seen you since July 29th. And so therefore, the concern was that. It was that was the type of concern. I wasn't trying to be in your business. I don't really I do think that there was some people that was being nosy in your business. I do feel that. But I was I was not one of them. And I know that you weren't talking to me, but I just gotta express that waking up this morning and seeing very much so you telling the story to TMZ, you girl, you didn't have to tell the TMZ and none of those. Tell your tell Go to your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, girl. Guys, I'm okay. My man hasn't done anything to me. He is my husband. I'm okay. I am okay. Um, Someone said that you think that she's more mad at her family. Yes. Now, we don't know what, what fabrications and altercations and admirations or whatever Asians, any kind of iterations that that you can put together that the family was doing in reference to trying to to uh, make make money or to sell something. I don't know. That don't got shit to do with me. What got to do with me is the concern uh, uh, is like, girl, we love you, girl. Where is you at, nigga? Where you at? Now, there was a couple things that I had found out because I am friends with a few people, and if you did not notice, I did go on my Instagram and I put, took some things down because after I found out what I found out, because I'm friends with a few people, I was like, okay, well, she is fine. You know, that they, they, they heard that this was going on or whatever. Y'all, ha I had heard that. And so I removed some postings, you know, from it. Girl, we done, Lord, we made it through the tunnel. Miss Lawrence, you was a light. There's a light that had not shot. Babe, you was a light. And so. When she gave that 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 whole thing of girl, I'm good now, girl. Bye. <laughs> That's what it. Oh yeah. But didn't it didn't it feel like that, Miss Lauren? It felt like that, like oh, I'm good. Bye. I'm gonna go back. Maybe she. Well, from what I know, I I've heard some things, but well, maybe you know I I, I understand it, but it's just the fact that. I wasn't coming from person. I don't think anybody was speaking to me about it, but it's just that I'm speaking from a fan's perspective. Ma'am, I understand that people as people who are public figures and all this type of stuff, you know, when you put your life in a place of public concern, girl, I have your album since 90, whatever. Girl, I'm 44 years old. I have your album since 90 something. The soul of them, all of those albums, I have them all. I have the album, the disc, and I also have the streaming and all of this stuff. I have this. So you are part of my life, girl. Miss Mamas, you is a part of my life. And so I was concerned. I've grown up, bitch, with the soul of a woman, honey. And the song that I really want to play for you, Kelly, is At least you can call and say you're busy. At least you can say I'm running late. It's the little things. For me. For me. It's the little things. And I just... There was a woman that came, Gabriella, that came on my Twitter, uh, in, the, in my Twitter conversation, and she said it was a disservice to all the missing black women out there who are really missing, who is not getting any, and it also showed how the media need to reconnect because we're in the city. Let's see this one, I'm going to get off of here. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. 
it just was a, it just, I just, I, I really didn't, I really don't live for that. I really don't like the, the way that the vibe that I'm getting, like I'm getting a vibe of, I don't, I, listen, um, I had COVID. I almost died. I don't have COVID anymore. I'm still healing from COVID. Leave me alone. Goodbye. Okay. I didn't want to hear anything from your lawyer. Girl, your sister, the reason why we were listening to your sister was because we don't know what's going on. Bitch, do you know how much lawyers come forth and talk shit and we don't know what the fuck is going on in between the sheets of my own? We don't know. When I seen that sister up there, I was like, girl, I don't, this something is wrong. My spirit is telling me there's something wrong. Then I'm watching little, then I'm watching Larry Reed uncover the fat uncover the marriage license <laughs> i'm like wait what is going on what is going on netta don't come saying that she don't owe me no explanation it's not about her well then if she don't owe us no explanation why the fuck would you post that you have covid don't sit up here and act like that we not we are not supposed to be concerned about people that even though we don't love when when Whitney Houston died, bitch, I cried like a baby. When Aaliyah died, I cried, I sobbed like a baby. Like a child. Because these people were somewhere in my heart. Like we are really fans of the that listen, I'm not don't, don't post it then. When I was sick. When I was sick, and I posted on my thing that I was sick, my real fans, my fans that loved me, my all this stuff, my people that loved me were very much so try, making sure that I was good. I couldn't talk every all the time. There were times that I was so sick that I couldn't get up. But I was like, girl, I've told the public now that I have that I'm sick, so I need to just make sure, you know, because I don't want them to be very concerned. So don't come over here brushing my feelings off about how I feel about somebody. Don't come over here telling that. Well, they, maybe she don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Tell me how to feel about somebody. Whoever you is that I ain't thinking about your ass, so don't don't post when you when your ass sick, nigga. So don't sit up here and tell people who are really diehard fans and who are that get out of her business. What the fuck you post your business for then, bitch? If you want me out of it. Anyway. Those are my five to 12 cents of the situation. What's in my nose? What's in my nose? What's in my, bitch, clean your kitchen. <laughs> Before you get on here trying to tell me what to pull out my, clean your kitchen. Cause I know your name, your Judy, Jody, bitch, your name tells me you got a dirty kitchen. I'm in the reading spirit this morning. I'm in New York City, bitch, getting money. Your name tells me that you have a filthy kitchen, bitch, Jody. You want it? Let's do it. Bitch, do you want it? Wipe that grease off the top of your fucking stove, bitch. Before you coming over here telling me to do anything around my nose, bitch. Wipe the grease off your stove. Before you boil any of those illegitimate children one more hot dog. Bitch. I'm with all what you with this morning, bitch, because I'm here, I'm, bitch, I'm resting and still gathering. I don't have anything to do but take a COVID test. Let's do it.
Now back to what I was saying. What I said was this the all of this stuff came from a legitimate place for people. Now there were some people who were digging over who were digging over into that woman's business, you know, because they were trying to be over into her business. Like, you know, my place was definitely from a place of like concern. Like, girl, I just was over here battling the COVID, windmilling the COVID and stuff like that. I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping that girl. I'm just hoping that girl, you know, this woman hasn't passed. And then looking at all the rest of the stuff that was going on in the media is very much so like, girl, girl, what is the real tea? You say, Marshawn, no, let him take me there. No, I have to remind them hoes. I'm not the girl, bitch. I'm with read. I'm, I'm for reading. I'm with it all. I'm with it all. You say, did I see what Latrice said? Who is Latrice? Who is Latrice? Who is that? Who is Latrice? What Latrice said yesterday? What she said? Who is who is Latrice and what did she say? Was it a was it a come for me? Was it a coming for me? Cause I don't know who this Y'all see I be in my own space. I don't be bothered with nobody. Thank you, Yvonne, for telling me that my approach was um was not was not even like because I know for me, like for me, I know that now there were some people who possibly were were being no were being all in the business, you know. I did say that you know I felt in my spirit that there was something wrong, you know. I said that I feel like there's something wrong with her, like something is going on, and so, you know, I was like, well, maybe somebody should go around there and check on her, you know. Mm. -hmm. I just feel like this. If if I post that I don't feel well, I'm posting that I don't feel well because I know I'm posting this to my genuine people that love me and, and care for me and stuff like that. I'm posting that to them. And if they follow up with, girl, are you okay? How you been doing? Do you need any do you need anything? Do you whoop de whoop? I feel that because I know it's some people that have been been growing with me for years. That's been growing me for years. So if I'm posting that I'm unwell and shit like that, girl, I'm going to follow up with them and say, girl, I'm okay. Now, or I have somebody that's, I'm not going to have my lawyer saying shit to y'all motherfucking ass. I'm going to have Chi Chi or people that are really in a space that know, like, girl, she okay. Girl, what you say, Ann? Girl, I was not with that stuff, girl. Now, that girl came over here. Now, she chose violence, and she didn't know I'm a bitch that cho chooses violence, too. I don't give a damn. Yes, I'm in the van. I am in the production van, and I'll cuss you, motherfucker. If I was on set at Universal Pictures and I was live, I would cuss any one of you motherfucking hoes out that tried me, that I felt tried about. Bitch, I'm the same OG wherever I go. The same OG. They knew what they hired when they hired me, didn't the sister? <laughs> 100. They knew who they hired. Bitch, don't play with me. Play with your pussy, bitch. Or your kids. So. Thank you, Kimberly, because I was. Uh, Charcoal Man. Oh, yes. Mm, because I got a little. I do need a little. Now, I will take. I will. I will take the charcoal mask, honey. Well, what was she saying? She, a, her name is Latrice. She's a comedian. Look her up. What did she say? What she said? Well, I can go look up what she said. Um, you asked me, do I think that the husband is controlling? I don't know. I don't know anything about her husband. I don't know. I've only heard, I've only know about, about what I just heard in this situation. I don't know. So I can't speak on, I can't 
uh, speak on and if I think that her husband did, I don't know that. I just know that, that that somebody that I love was like missing or not being seen or that posted that they were sick and I hadn't seen them in months. So I didn't know, you know. Uh, thank you, Katrina. Um, oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, you know. Phyllis said you love me, forgive it to it with no filter. Girl, I can't, I don't know how to do nothing else, girl. I've been praying to God to, help, to, give, to put a filter in me. He done put a little bit in me. But I told the people out there in the world of worlds, so I said, listen, God gonna have to stick his big finger in my mouth and t t teach me how not to cuss because he gave me the cuss words. Shit. God made words, man made them bad. <laughs> Baby, you gonna take us to get some breakfast this morning, honey? Because we ain't at nothing. It's breakfast over here. Where we at, man? This is Manhattan, right? Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, my lace front is 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 late because this is my knock around wig, bitch. This is my knock around wig. I got so many wigs in there, bitch, and I got knock arounds, knock up, knock up. This don't make me. What make me is a clean kitchen. It's not, it's, it's grease not being all over the stove like that. This don't mean nothing to me, period. Y'all must don't know about the, y'all must don't know about this. The TS is made out of steel oats, bitch. Steel oats that you put in the oatmeal, bitch, steel. Mm-mm. I got on a little press powder, girl, because I didn't know if I was going to meet me a man out here in New York City, girl. And I was going to hug his neck and leave a little brown spot on his, to, to send him home. Be like, girl, this the color he like. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> this the color he like. Brown. Ooh. Now, you see how he jumped out in front of you? I was a witness, baby. If he jumped out in front of you and he almost knocked you, made you run his ass over, we was going to run his ass over and keep going. He got a couple asses at home. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Oh. Um, girl, y'all, y'all, when can y'all see? <laughs> uh... Girl, you see that COVID line? Yes, uh, Katrina. Where where the COVID line? Back there, girl. Oh shit! We wanted that one back there. Yes, oh. I know the bread was close to her, and um, and I know that I know that for a fact, and that's why you know I'm really good friends with Judy, and Judy was telling me some stuff, and so I was I went and I took stuff down off of my Instagram. I was like, oh, when I started finding out that things were what things were, I started. T taking stuff down. I was like, okay, well, she good. All right, cool. She good. Judy was like, girl, she good. This is going on. I said, okay. So I started deleting the things, but it's just like this stuff this morning. I'm like, girl, now how you going to tell the girls like this, girl? That hurt my feelings. Like, damn, it's a line in there. Yeah, that line long. Ooh, what is going on? Is these all the people filming tomorrow? They could have gave us another time, girl. They should have gave, the, gave all of us regular stars a different time than this. All the top bill stars should have had a different time. Girl, I bitch, I'm finna get me something to eat. I ain't finna, I'm finna be. Uh-uh, uh -uh, girl. They should have had, girl, we finna be in this bitch all damn day. Oh, but they, they should probably shooting a lot of other productions too. That's what they're doing a lot of productions at the same time. Uh, the name of the movie that I'm shooting um, in New York City is called Bros. It's a Universal Pictures coming out August of 2022. It's a comedy by Ju Judd Apatow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Judd Apatow. 
um, Billy Eichner, Nick Stoller. It's a different type of change, girl. It's a different type of change. <laughs> Come on, Doc. Bring your, bring your thick ass on now. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah, right, let me help Doc. Oh, come on, let me see. Go ahead, baby, because we're trying to get Dot out the car. Yeah. Oh. You. Baby, this line is. Uh, Where y'all look? Let me show y'all. Baby, they got us out here, baby. This my uh uh. I'm in Manhattan right now. Hey, Angela D. I'm going to call, call Eddie and, and tell him we're not going to do this. Hi, are you with Rose? Yes. Did you Hi, how are you? Hi. Right here. Yeah. Testing here, yes. Okay, give me one second. That would be okay. Yeah, I'm out here. I'm about to get uh, this COVID test. You, can, you want me to call him? Oh, look at my rich ass sister. That's my rich sister right here. Yeah, I call y'all back. This is my rich ass sister. My rich sister right here. How y'all doing? That's right. And highly favored. Blessed. Highly favored. Ah, ha, sha, ta, ni, 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 And he dwells all up in here. Oh, yeah, sha, ta, ta, ni, 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 no, I'm gonna call them because you finna call. Yeah, because we shouldn't be standing out here, girl. Honey, we're the principal cast. We're the girls. Uh, <laughs> this is my girlfriend Dot right here. This Morning. Dot. I look rough. No, you don't, Dot. I look rough and puffy. Dot, get the scrap. Dot, you know what? Huh. I don't even get the scrap, Dot. <laughs> this is my baby, Dot. Dot plays Cherry in the movie. I play, my name is Angela. Dot plays Cherry. Yeah. Um, now I do feel that like when Miss Mama was going through the thing with her sister, when, I, when, my, when, when she was going through that with her sister, now that's personal stuff that we don't know nothing about. I just was, I just was really being in the situation because I'm like, girl, the sister, like, you know, you we hear the lawyer saying one thing, the sister saying another one. So, you know, anyway, I just came from a place of love. It was most definitely a place of love. It was not a place of being nosy. It was a place of what my spirit told me. And so, girl, I'm sorry that if I invaded anyone's personal space or privacy, you know. Um... Oh, um, Naisha said she she said you're funny. She's been watching you all her life. Aww. <laughs> she must be very young. The <laughs> <laughs> um, baby. Mm. Yeah, Miss Lawrence back there. Put okay. So can I have the name? Oh. Marie Jones or Dorothy? Hold on, they want to ask me. Y'all know my name, girl. Y'all know what check the name Margo the check come in. Hold on. Timothy. Uh, okay. What was your name? Hinton. H I N T O N is the last name. You see it? No, I don't have you on this list. Hinton. You can H A S H I. Oh, that's right. Don't never forget it. Lauren. L A W R E. Burns. And your last name? Washington. W A S H E. Uh huh. Oh. 
You said Johnny Johnny said, while I'm not in disguise like Miss Lawrence. I said, girl, because Miss Lawrence trying to be inconspicuous. I ain't in no disguise. I need a haircut. Miss Lawrence said she being inconspicuous, baby. I want the men to find me. I need some breakfast. <laughs> I need some breakfast, girl. Take me away in the city and feed me. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why I put my, they gave my last name. Mm-hmm. Bilal, Bilal, you say, what is my dot name? Dot ho. <laughs> he said, what is my dot name? Dot ho. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. He's with bros too. Yeah, but he just registered. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.